back. And we're back with and robot ratings. Uh, first of all, nine one nine seven B bagel. What do you think? This is a clean robot. What the first thing I noticed about, I mean, there's a lot of plastic, but this part is very, very bent. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's heat yes. gun, right? It probably heat gun. We did the same thing. Yeah. But you do have very big side plates, so I wonder, like our E team, they had more low profile side plates, and they had issues with fitting and spec. I know they were like cutting down on plastic as much as they can. So I'm curious if you are in spec. So that's just something to look out for. Yeah, I mean, it, you definitely want to make this really easily uh, detachable, right? As mm -hmm. long as they, if the judges or refs call you out during inspection, then you'd be like, oh, just take it off, right? Super, well, super easy fix. if it is holding something, then... <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. I don't think so. But yeah, it's. I think it's pretty clean. I see a... You know, I think it's a... Is that a... Hold up. Let me click on the, 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 the photo to figure that out. It's a hook redirect. Okay. But it does have piston, though. It, it is piston actuated, so... Wait, it's piston actuated? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. You see how they have it's folded up now? What? Oh, you meant the the cage. Okay. Yeah, the cage is wait, wait, which is like I mean that's nice. So yeah, I won't. They won't really get any uh, any point removal for that because now I'm definitely going to take points off of your thing is not not piston is, actuated. Doesn't the two bar fall at the end of auto? Wouldn't it fall back down? Like you see, unless they, it's rubber banded down, or is it up? The, uh, like right here. Yes, actually, yeah. I don't know if you guys have considered that, but after the auto, or even after the match, your motors automatically turn off. So like, your all the mecha goes to coast. So then, uh, your this would fall off, fall down unless you have it banded up to like the perfect amount where you know it's it's gonna hold basically. So, I mean, I can totally see you putting gears or uh, putting bands or on the gears to passively band it up, right, to assist the the lift. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, I see a lot of teams doing that the past couple of years. So that's yeah, definitely a good but idea. if you if you do it too much, then that means the motor the entire match is working against to, it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. So I would just I would just go forwards into the into the bar and then rest it. That's how we did it, and it worked very consistently at our yeah. competition. All right, and we're gonna go up a little bit actually since we started with a, oh. that one. We got the June Mobot. Uh, I mean, it just seems pretty I mean, consistent. It seems nice pretty normal. Yeah. America. I'm going to give this a B tier. Uh, this one, better bot posted. Okay, we'll, we'll look at that one later then. This one is going to get a B tier as well, I think. Right? Because this one's Highlander Summer and that one was Mo MOA. So, very different, like, you know, time periods. Yeah. I'm very excited to see this one. So, <laughs> we'll, we'll... The fish posting WNA leaks soon. Yeah. yeah. Uh... I don't know how I, feel, yeah. I don't know how I feel about this one, but because he's feeding them in with his hand, right? So it's definitely like I think if you wanted to really give your intake a fair ch a fair chance of, during testing, I wouldn't use your hand to push it in through the first stage because the first stage is usually like there could be a lot of slowdown in the first stage, right? Mm -hmm. And pickup. So I would just like either push your robot into the ring or like drive your robot into the ring instead of pushing the ring in with your hands. Something interesting I've noticed is they they do use flaps at the end of their first stage in order to. I think just like give that ring a little bit more of a push, mm -hmm. which I yeah. find interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty nice. I think, I mean, I think I will give this a C tier because some of it looks like it could be definitely worked on still, but you know, it's nice. And we have passive hood. Bam, 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 bam. bam. This looks so much more consistent than yeah, your intake. Yeah, so the reason ours is so inconsistent is because it wasn't supposed to be a hood intake. It was supposed to be hooks. And so from there, we didn't redo the intake angle because we had two rows of flexibles for our hooks. Mm -hmm. And so then our intake angle was just completely off. And so we've been, we've just been like cooked from there. Yeah, wait, so for, for a hood intake, would you say it's better to have the mobile go more tilted then? Uh... I would say, yeah, more tilted, but also just like a little bit higher angle than what we have. Our angle is just too, a little bit too shallow since it was meant for a more vertical intake. Yeah, I see. I mean, but also one more thing that about, you know, while we're here is that I see their, their goal is pretty far up the ground. So, you know, one thing we saw this uh, weekend at the Lovejoy tournament was that, of course, uh, if you're in the corner, right, and it's the past 15 seconds, even if you're in the corner and you don't drop your goal, right, if the, if the goal is not dropped in the corner, if it's in your robot and it's off the ground, then your goal is not in the corner. Yeah. Which has been 
you know, that's been, I have definitely not thought about that until like, you know, seeing that uh, rule be played out during our first match with 1082R. Well, no, no, it was dropped before 15. Oh. Yeah. Well, we'll just say it won't, it wasn't because I'm pretty sure Aiden cheated a little bit. Little. All right, just a little. All right, we have, oh shoot, I, for, I forgot, to, I'm forgetting to rate these. I'm going <laughs> to give this an S tier. This is one of my favorite robots this season. Oh, and from Siobhan. 334. Why? Why? He's now on a new team. Right? One of the best Wait, drivers 12, in the world. 12 pounds. Hmm? 12 pounds. 12.1 12. 12. pounds, great. actually. 12.1. 12. 12.1 12. 1 pounds. 12.10 yeah. 12. pounds. You can't uh, forget the Sig Fig. The Sig Fig, yep. There's, there's a lot of plastic. It, <laughs> it looks like it's a very, like, there. it's simple and, like, there's not too <laughs> much extra stuff to add weight. It, yeah. It's a it looks very, very light. One thing I definitely want to point out, though, is just the backside doinker, right? I definitely rather have a doinker on the front side. Mm -hmm. That's just me, though, because, you know, because when you have a goal, that doinker really isn't doing anything anymore because your yeah. goal sticks out further than the doinker does. I think, yeah, probably the thought process behind that was for goal rush. You can just doinker, turn, pick it up, mm -hmm. uh, but then you have to worry about getting the, the rings out of the corner. Because once you have a goal in there, you can't really get those rings out of the corner as easily as if, as opposed to if you had it in the front. Yeah, but this looks like a two ring, uh, a two two motor hood intake. Or, yeah, hood intake, right? So that, that means it's gonna be super super fast. Maybe we can, if we don't get an ad, we'll watch it. Oh, <laughs> it's not a bit okay, We can't watch it. That's all right though. But yeah, all these you know a ton of one by one use. So also, I like the the poly intake, right? I think we. I think if you're think a good team, hmm? don't you think that will bend? Well, that's the whole point, right? Because if you have a, a aluminum one, right? If it bends, then it then it's gonna stay bent. But with the poly one, if it bends, it bends back, mm. right? Because you know, it's so it's so like less malleable than uh. Well, it's, it's once it's bent, it won't stay bent like aluminum does. So yeah, yeah, right. So that's what I like about that. So I'm gonna give this an A tier because I mean there's no wall stakes, but still very solid. Yes. Oh, drivetrain picks. Every connection is fully boxed. I like boxed. Oh yeah, I already see so much boxing here. I, don't you feel it could be a little bit overboxed? Because uh, boxing does add a lot of weight. Yeah, maybe. So I would watch out on that, but I mean, uh, I feel like you can never really go wrong with boxing on the drivetrain, right? Especially, but like you know, higher up on the robot. I don't know if you need to really have everything boxed, right? You can, you know, more play around with triangle supports and getting stuff uh, rigid That's that way. That's a weird, weird motor setup. I haven't seen... It's cool, though. I like it. Setup. Yeah, I haven't seen them set up like that. Before. It's just interesting. Yeah, I see the, the back clamp here with a very clean triangle brace or, you know, whatever that is with the, uh, with the clamp. Yes. But also, uh, these are, these drives are not really in meta anymore, I think. The... The ones with, you know, three, uh, only six wheels. I mean, like, uh, uh, some top teams are running it. Like, yeah. Ace is running. But I think more are switching to, to eight, though. Yeah, but I don't really think there's a huge difference. Like, you, you have slightly better acceleration, but if it makes you sacrifice anything build-wise, it's mm -hmm. probably smarter yeah. just to remove those extra two wheels and then... Yeah. Well, one more thing is that you know one thing the, the I think the only really thing I don't like about this drivetrain is are these uh, twenty four or the twelve teeth gears. Yeah, because these are going to be running so so fast, and that's just going to cut down on your or on your like it's just going to increase your friction and cut down on your like, overall performance of the drivetrain because they they have to go so fast. But yeah, I think I think I still give this a B tier though. It's very nice, and yeah, that brings us to a conclusion of today. I don't know why they got so many skulls. I think it's I think it's that was, reasonable. That was